Lavoul. Sama El Tayeb picks us off. Well, you commentated yesterday on El Tayeb, didn't you? Take that was a pretty good win, wasn't it? Against Shaheen. What were the what were the qualities there for, for the youngster to, to come through that battle? Yeah, I actually no. picked El Tayeb to win that one, although it was more decisive than I'd anticipated. I well, picked it a three two and she came wow. through in in three straight games. Twenty three minutes. Yeah, it was was quick fire. Well, Nadine Shaheen didn't really adapt her game much. She just was pretty set on hitting it to the back. Hitting it hard. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and unfortunately, wasn't really doing much damage to Altaya, who also likes to thump the ball herself. But Altaya was showing a lot more variety into the front of the court. Two love. Taking the straight drop in, exposing the movement of Shaheen, just making the court bigger for her opponent. Sure. I mean, that's that was, even though you called the winner, that's a pretty big turn up, isn't it? it the, the style that he was doing in the manner, three love in 23 minutes. Shaheen must have, been, must have been furious with that loss. Well, and there's a bit of that quality that we saw yesterday. Three love. Softening the ball nicely into the front right corner. Well, these two have never played before, so uncharted territory for both. Hand out, 1-3. I always think, though, it's not necessarily easier, but it's easier to do your homework, as it were, when you're the younger player against the, the more established player, because obviously there's lots of tapes of Salma Hani over the years and her style. You know, she's pretty, pretty established, as you see in terms of the way that she plays. And I guess a lot of people have files on her in terms of this is the way we think that you, you could beat her, but now you've got to go and execute And out 4-1. Absolutely, she'll have done her homework, I'm sure. How, what is the way, in your opinion, of, of beating Salma Hani? Stroke to Hani. She's got to take them mid-court away from Hani, as we saw in the two, BT four. previous to this. Hani does like to take her space around there, and as we also said, she's very, very powerful and hits a very heavy ball, so need to take that area of the court away, and I think that's what we saw at the very beginning from Tayeb. She was actually pressing the ball into the front of the court, making Hani, Stroke to Hani. have to push her tee position up and cover that, whereas Hani really likes to kind of pummel you back and then, Three, you know, four. kind of take it in and then wait for the next one around the middle. She really loves to dominate that T-zone. She's not all that tall in stature, but she does make herself pretty big around the middle. That's for sure. Play there with that backhand volley kill. It's a pretty good. Match. Just thinking back to last week in Hamburg, pretty good match uh, with Hanny and, and Naila Hillis. Of course, Hanny not too happy coming second, but. And it's a good match to watch. I actually um, five, four. didn't commentate on that one. I had my, that was my break, I was, but I still watched it from behind the court. And it's pretty entertaining. Very different styles, those two. Yeah, very contrasting styles. But it's always a good win, isn't it, for uh, for the top players to to beat Salma Hanna. And Naila Hillis is the top player now. Down. Always tough to get over the line against Hanni. Yeah, Hani just hasn't been quite as consistent with her results against the other players in the top 10, right? And that's just, she's she's able to kind of get across the line against a couple of them here and there, like we saw with Gina Kennedy earlier this season, but that consistency.
consistency that perhaps Kennedy or Neil Gillis now is seeing from them. They're able to move up into that top five, top six yes, in the world bracket. So and he's making headway, but it's just it's a big jump, isn't it? Five all. It certainly is. Those two have just been unbelievably un uh, uh, consistent, haven't they? In the last year or so, last couple of years. Down. Six five. She's doing okay, okay here, the twenty year old. Sneaking in well. She falls to the ground, loses the balance slightly. This guy there it looks Seven like Mike Tyson. <laughs> it's not a dad, is it? Just needs the tattoo across the, across the face. Oh, dead ringer. <laughs> Loves his squash. Happy to go down that backhand down. wall, nice and attritional. But then when it opens up against Salma Hani, you've got to be careful. That was a good chance. It was a good bit of deception from Al Tayyab. just not enough margin for Lift error. Up. Actually, couldn't tell who cried out there, but they're clearly <laughs> curious <laughs> with themselves. A lovely combo from Altaya. Did really well to straighten that from the front left and then followed up Hand really down. nicely. 6 8. Backhand volley drop, not clipping the sidewall whatsoever. I always ask you this question, Nicole, but have you played both, either of these players? Neither? Played Sam Altaya. I've not played Samahani. I don't actually know if we've even practiced together. I'm surprised, I'm surprised that you played Tayeb and not, and not Hani, I guess, because Hani's been on the floor that bit longer. And how was the experience for you against the youngster? Uh, it was not one of my finer performances. She played pretty well. Um, we won't go yeah. into the result. I'm, sort of <laughs> guessing the re I'm guessing the result, but just in terms of her qualities, what's, and, and also perhaps a couple of weaknesses, what... Describe what it's like being on court with her. Yes, let Official interference. Bit of yes, let Backup is good. A few traffic issues. Yes. Starting to creep in now. Well, I played, sorry, just going back to your point, or to your question, Simon. You know, we played on a back court, so it's pretty hot, fast, and bouncy. Um, and I was just impatient Six, pretty much. Eight. I wasn't happy just to, you know, rally to the back and, and you know, kind of take the middle away, which is probably gonna be my strength. I wanted to open up the court and she was moving really well. And as you can see, she slides in. She's very athletic. Um, and she a lot of a lot of balls. And she's the more aggressive player. And yeah, just uh Traditional court does make, it, makes a big difference though, doesn't it? Definitely. Uh, it's a big change Four. to the wow. That's a poor, poor error from Honey. Yeah, traditional court to, to glass court. I don't know which Seven one nine. you think she's suits her better or suits you better, but a huge difference. In general, I do feel that the glass court suits the higher ranked player better, more experienced player. It certainly rewards the quality of hitting. You find you can kind of Hack it out on a back court. That's <laughs> what we're going to do later, isn't it? <laughs> Stroke to Hani. No. Swing prevented. No room to play. I do feel for Salma Al Tayeb here, but good awareness from Hani. Just 
with the preparation. Yeah, it was pretty early, wasn't it, from from Hani? We'll have another look at this. We're coming back into the back right here, the forehand. That's actually, don't know if that was that exaggerated. I'm not too sure. I think that's probably correct in this case. I think it's one of those situations where some some players will adapt their swing for that contact not to happen, and then others who are perhaps a bit we'll more aware, yeah. you know, a bit better at fashioning those situations, they can... Uh, yeah, a bit like a footballer yeah. coming into the, the penalty area. 10-7, yeah. Gimbal. Just feeling that little clip as they go down. A few expert, expert <laughs> dives. <laughs> Facial expressions and everything. Only in the men's game, I must say, this one. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot to answer for. Lots of down. very edgy air from Salmahani. Just a correction, that is not the score. Eight. <laughs> well, we're now playing to 15, in case you didn't know. Old school. That's what I used to do. Should be 8-10. Honey's still with two game balls. No let. Yeah, minimal Living interference. Eight. Game two, Honey, Honey leads one game. Sama, El Tayeb needed to go through and play that. Just didn't fancy it. Welcome to the squash court. Before we begin, make sure you have the right ball for your level of play. So this is the red mini squash ball. It's the bounciest ball and it's perfect for little kids who are just starting to play squash. Because it's very bouncy and give them more time to prepare them their swing before they hit the ball. The blue dot ball is perfect for anyone new to the game of squash. Unlike more advanced balls, the blue dot does not need to be warmed up to be played. The red dot ball or the progress ball is good for anyone who's been playing with the blue ball and is looking for more of a challenge. The red dot ball is smaller and less bouncy, so you have to work harder to keep the rallies going. For experienced players, the single yellow dot ball uh, offers a great challenge. The single yellow dot is the same size as the double yellow dot that we use on the PSA World Tour, but it has 10% more bounce. Meaning you can get used to the speed of the game at a more advanced level. So before you start playing, it is really important to check and make sure you're using the right ball for your level of play. Reasonable duration. Yeah, she's certainly not to be underestimated, Altayeb. Just getting a little bit of extra solo. As you said, the younger players don't have as much time on the on the glass course. They haven't had that experience, so she's doing the right thing here. They would assume in 30 seconds. She did have a slight advantage of having her match on the glass court yesterday against Nadine Shaheen, so that always, always helps tremendously, doesn't it? Not just having a practice hit, but actually having a real match where you have to move at proper speed. 15 Absolutely. seconds. It's Kareem Darwish on the left, former world number one. I had to, see, had to play against him a couple of times, and as I said earlier, I have no idea who that guy on the right is. Die. But he was coaching one of the players. How many times do you reckon you played with Darwish? Level. Not too many. Too many, actually. Um, maybe only two or three. Tell by my silence the uh, the results. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, my excuse is a little, quite a fair bit younger than me, and yeah, that's a back end of my career, and he was a bit too good. Oh, no shame in going down to so <laughs> world number <laughs> yeah. one, well, well, even well, if they hadn't reached point. that point yet. Yeah, lots of skill in that uh, right hand. Darwish down, hand out one all. I uh, didn't really do too much wrong in that first game. You know, I think it's always tough when you pretty much execute your game plan and you play pretty well, but you still come out on the losing end, right? And some obviously, you just have to realize that you're up against a top 10 quality player. So it's going to be finer margins, but she needs to stay positive. 
You're right. She's doing, um, she's doing some good stuff here, the youngster. She's playing pretty tight in, in that rally, almost dominating for at least a couple of shots. 2-1. Getting in front of Han Hanny at times. That's where it went wrong, right at the end there, just slightly off balance. Oh, that's a response <laughs> and a half. Hand out. That took some guts. Cool. Well, it was a poor serve, though, from Hani. He didn't actually make the sidewall. Out. what she's asking for then, Nicole. I think she's asking Excuse for me, play, a view on the line, it. which you cannot do. No. I do find it astonishing how many players try to question Undoubt line cool. calls when, you know, you really, we know they by know now that we can't yeah, review Russian it. Blood to the head, I think. Too old. You can't ask the ref, because yeah. the ref might overturn it themselves, yeah. but you cannot go to the video replay it's kind of a as an official sense, replay. yeah. Human, a human request. <laughs> but yeah, the old BPMs are going, uh, going crazy when you're on there, you know. Oh, that's just, just ambitious as well. I mean, it's the wrong shot, everything. Technique. Hand out. Just needed to put that one long if possible. Complete miscue. If you get rewarded more for using height on the glass court, the ball will kind of kind of lose it in the lights don't you when it's up high so you feel like you could be more conservative when the ball's high above your head definitely so these players are not using much height oh wow <laughs> well you can see that you've got to get your width pretty good against Tayeb. Hand out four three. It's a lovely hold, doesn't it? And just clinically slotting that ball into the corner. Five three. Yeah, the quality was good, but it was really the hold that did the damage. Put Altaib on her heels. Top. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's back. Thought they'd lost the ball then for a second. Six, three. not a poor shot from Hani by any means. Runs out that kind of control off the wall here. I mean, that ball is it's pretty tight. You could hear her clattering a racket as she played the shot. Still got the control though, I'll tell you. Especially to judge that distance on the glass court. It's harder, isn't it? Yes, sure. that. Four, six. Wait, look at the pickup from Hani. She'll get that one as well. 
Oh. It's well played from Honey. She got into good positions there, El Tayeb, and looked favourite to win the rally a couple of times. Hand out, 7-4. We see quite often with Honey. Gets herself out of trouble with that athleticism. Yeah, El Tayeb just not able to convert. And she did present herself with the opportunity as well, right? We see Honey, there we go. She's taking her opportunities and she's making them. Whereas we saw a couple of rallies go, Sam El Tayeb took on the Eight same four. shot, but she hit the tin. And for me, that's just the difference right now. They're fairly even in a Eight lot of the four. rallies, but El Tayeb's not able to convert quite as clinically as Hani. Yeah, definitely. And great technique as well there from Hani from the back of the court, just really lowering her body into the shot. Down. Just, as I say, that losing a balance completely for that one. Hand out five I was absolutely thrashed by Hani. Hand out nine five. There's no coming back from that ferocious kill. Well, after a very good mid stage from Al Taya, but it's Hani that's pulled nine. away. I can't believe it, Parky. She's served out twice now in this match. Yeah. It's ridiculous, really. Is this the kind of match you expected, this kind of resistance from El Taya, but generally Hani, Hani in front? I think that this is better resistance than I'd anticipated. Yeah, she's doing okay, isn't she? El Taya, I think perhaps. playing some good lines to beat Anna's back out. I do feel oh, that's a lovely counter drop. I was just going to say that Hani hasn't really hit her stride yet. I think if she does get and through this, she'll grow throughout the tournament. Move. You know, she's obviously been in very good form. And sometimes that first match, you've got a lot of nerves. You're not really playing your best yet. But she's done well enough here to get herself four game balls. It's clever. Clever shot just came in at a funny angle. And it looked like it was going to be cross court. Straightened it well there, El Tayeb. I thought Hani actually stitched herself a little bit by taking that extra bit of a follow through here. She stayed on the shot. Couldn't yeah, quite recover from it. Hand out. In the middle of the court. 7 10, game ball. Sometimes taking your space can actually backfire, can't it? <laughs> no, I've never done it. Down. 8 10, game ball. Well, Tayeb gets another point on the board. This could be very interesting. Yeah, it's too good. 11-8, game to Hani. Hani leads to game to love. Another good performance from Sama El Tayeb in that second game. 11 8. Similar duration to the first game, but it's Sama Hani who leads Sama El Tayeb. Two games to love. Yeah, Sama Hani will be very happy with the performance so far. That drop shot we just saw, we saw towards the end of the second game as well. She's one of her best shots using a movement just to nudge the ball into the corners. But as we said, Taya putting up a good resistance here, the youngster. She's never played against Hani before, and she's making a good effort here. Good straight lines, but occasionally, just towards the business end of some of these rallies, just giving a bit too much time and space to play shots like that one.
Play resume in 60 seconds. I wonder what kind of advice is going on there. I mean, it's it, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? She's playing well, Summer Honey, and she's keeping uh, the younger opponent in her box, as it were, and doing all the right things. I don't think there's too much to say. I mean, he's saying a lot, the coach, there. It's just words of encouragement. Welcome to the Egypt's Premier Squash event. Oh, that was slick. Ali Farag seals the deal. He's won his fourth championship in a row. She's done it. Wow, take a bow. Were you a very nervy player? Not really, no. I did I did get nerves, but I think I was able to control them for the most part. I played a lot of elite junior squash, club. so that was good, really good good practice for moving into the seniors. Level. Blue. Level. Nicole, we are going to see probably a bit of an improvement, I would expect, from Hani because she's really settled into this match now. Right on cue, brilliant boast from the back of the court, well, love. completely invisible to El Tayeb. And of course, it's not just one match, is it, that uh, Hani's thinking about now. She's in this position. Still got a bit of work to do, but she's probably going to win this in three, I think. She's got more matches to think about later in the event. She wants to get, get a good run together here in in Cairo. To love. Yeah, absolutely can see her opening up a little bit. Usually feeling pretty confident when you're hitting boasts and oh, drops Down. like that from behind your opponent, right? Yeah, it's impressive. Three love. Hold back now, as we said, it's just sitting pretty at two love. What about you? Do you get nervous? Down. I can do, yeah. I can. And that and can down. affect you sometimes. One, three. It definitely used to affect me a lot more. Now I'm better at accepting them. But um, and then sometimes and if I wasn't one. nervous, I would get worried that I wasn't nervous. Yeah, there definitely needs to be some nerves there. I think, you know, like you say, every every time a sports person says that, uh, but it's just a matter of just the right amount so that you, you're excited about playing and it's just not going to make Five you overtired one. as you come into the match. Yeah, the nerves can really skyrocket your heart rate, can't they? It makes Certainly can. work rate that actually usually wouldn't be that hard in training seem like it's ten times worse <laughs> in a match. Very true. Hand out. 2-5. It's good aggressive play from El Tayeb there. Stepping onto the ball nice and early. She's got a pretty solid technique, hasn't she, I'll tell you. Oh, wow, oh. and very supple. And decent flexibility as well. How's this? Thanks. You do that. 6-2. Never have, never will. <laughs> No Same here. Well, barely sit cross legged. I think it was pretty clear from a young age I was never going to be a gymnast. Never. <laughs> no chance. Well, that's lovely variation from El Tayeb. She's got some nice flicks, hasn't she? And out. 3 6. It's really subtle, that was. Nice ability with the wrist and form. Down. Again, one of Honey, one of her favorite shots, that just nudging the ball using a movement. Missed it that time. Four, six. Tyab's done well here to stay within reach. She was five one down, you know. And 
being two love down and five one down, could have easily run away from her and she could have gotten negative, but she's stayed in here nicely. Good hold as well there. Bit of a Salma Honey shot, that one. Takes her own medicine. Five, six. Oh. Terrific movement from Altaya. Oh, she's got that as well. Lollet. It's frustrating for Altaya. Shot quality wasn't great, but she was also not really let through. Yeah, it must be frustrating, Undo. especially when you get some, Seven, five. such amazing balls back as she did those previous couple. Amazing flexibility that we're just really only seeing in this third. I don't know if you saw it when you played it, but in this third game, it's quite astonishing. Yeah, it's, I, I did witness it <laughs> and experienced <laughs> Unfortunately. it. I did. And that's very deceiving. I think your opponent's not going to get there, and then they throw a massive lunge and just Ball. screech in, and that gives them probably an extra foot to play with. So neither of these players Unload. are that tall in stature, but they've got this ability Six, to seven. really, like, you know, slightly different. Salma Hani's got the really powerful lunge, right? And Salma al Tayyab's has that supple, screechy lunge. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say, is that you've, you've been on court with, uh, with al Tayyab. Hani keeps her balance. I mean, she's older and she's done, done more training, more years of training. She keeps that, that control. al Tayyab could you know, lose a bit of control. So I guess it's even more annoying you get your opponent into that position no. and then they stay in the rally. You, th you think you're going to finish the rally after that, but Hand out. I guess she just eight, keeps going. Six. Tyab's just going for that backhand flick now. A bit too often, perhaps. Overtaking that one. Straight drop served her so well, hasn't it? Yeah, it certainly has. Yeah, I, was, I was always taught to kind of save the flicks a little bit, keep them in the back pocket, and then they become more effective you know, after four or five straight drives, a couple of straight drops. Nine, six. Nine, six. Talk about saving sh putting shots in your back pocket. That lob is, has been few and far between, hasn't it? Not a lot of height being used in this match, but that was immaculate from Hani. Oh. That's a great shot as well. Hand out. Seven, nine. So NG surrounded by kids there, but there is one adult, Nor al Tayyab, next to her. Down. There's that stretch again, as I was saying. She and just out, loses, then seven loses control pool. a little bit. That's something that she probably needs to work on. Maybe not the full stretch, but keeping the balance on the smaller stretch. Yeah, absolutely. Well, three match balls for Hani now to close this out in three. Top. And just needs the one. Level seven, match to Hani, three game to love. Very good performance from Salma Al-Tayeb. 11-7, 11, seven, 11, eight, 11 seven. Put up a very, very good fight. Salma just had, Salma uh, Hani just had too much experience for her younger compatriot today. And now we're gonna hear from our MC with Salma Hani. Salma, congratulations, well done. Um, a fantastic effort there to back up your, your efforts at the Australian Open, which you won, and then the German Open, which you had a good run in as well. Um, how are you feeling coming into this week? Um, obviously, uh, feeling very good uh, to get to play another, you know, another tournament, especially at my, my hometown. Uh, all my family's here, my coach is here, so uh, definitely in the crowd, obviously, uh, with us. So it uh, definitely feels very special to play here this week. What sort of advantages do they give you, whether it's sort of glancing back at a family member or a bit of advice from the coach or a bit of energy from the crowd? What, what, what do you take from, from those experiences? Yeah, all the above. Um, definitely to have the backup of the crowd, the family and my coach uh, definitely feels very special. We don't always get to experience that, so uh, definitely going to get used to, like, take advantage of that and uh, 
enjoy my time on court as much as possible. We always knew a Salma was going to win this match. Um, just a word on your opponent, Salma Al Tayeb. Um, she, she's a great, great player that's coming up through the world rankings. Um, how, how do you rate her and, and that performance that she put in today? Yeah, obviously she's a very great player. She was uh, one of the t our top juniors. Um, she had a really good win uh, yesterday, and uh, she's been playing really well on the professional tour. So uh, I definitely prepared really well for the match, and uh, I'm glad I managed to win in three. And another El Tayeb to look forward to in the quarterfinals. Noor El Tayeb, I think she was watching here uh, moments ago. Um, ob obviously, she doesn't need much of an introduction. She's, she's a great player, as are you. So how do we prep ourselves for that one and that battle in the quarterfinals? Yeah, it's, uh, we and Noor, we played really uh, some great battles in the past. and. Uh, yeah, just um, she's a great friend of mine and uh, obviously a, a great competitor and um, I always enjoy my time playing with her on court and uh, looking forward to another battle in, in two days. We can't wait. Enjoy the rest day tomorrow and we'll see you in the quarterfinals. Ladies and gentlemen, Salma Hani. It was a very experienced performance there from Salmani, but very good as well from Salman Al Tayeb. First time she's ever played against Hani. It was a good effort. It was some good shots, some good holds, playing into the corners, hitting her targets, a few little flicks as well. I've not seen much of this young player myself. I didn't commentate on yesterday, so it's good to see that she got over the half an hour mark. We thought it would be a three love to Hani, which it was, but it was definitely a good good effort from Al Tayyip. Oh, there's confirmation of the scoreline. 34 minutes, so a pretty decent duration and decent fight from Salma Al Tayyip, but it is the more experienced player who came through today. 11-7, 11-8, 11-7 against Salma Al Tayyip. Well, we're running about 30 minutes behind now. And our next match on court, the final match of the afternoon session will be Miguel Rodriguez taking on Tarek 